Hey everybody, how's it? Ah yes, the subject matter. Are video gamers, at least ones that have more than one game in their library, much more open to the experience of different genres of music because of the video game experience. So this conversation popped off on Twitch and I never really fun finished it up, but in my year and a half of experience doing what I'm doing on my Twitch uh, channel as well as here, um, I have realized that as we as individuals formulate our own playlists of things that we like, how wonderful is it that we get influenced by music, by games that we have bought that has nothing to do with a musical decision, and then all of a sudden you've been exposed to this incredible music. Different kinds of music and gaming. From like epic doom metal, like on Doom, to some of the most beautiful Zelda and just in pieces of music for, from so many different composers, but then also anime. Uh, anime to me has been an incredible musical uh, journey. But the essence of what I wanted to say here is that I'm, I'm hearing a lot of things about, you know, um, from different, you know, very successful YouTube creators. You know, Gen Z may not be that much into music and the way they get their music or how today's music now has kind of dummied down music. I don't know. That's not my conversation to have as much as it is how excited that I am as an old person to be able to journey with these gamers, like on my Twitch channel and here, through these genres that otherwise you may not be exposed to. And they're pretty diverse, too. Jazz, fusion, you know, punk. I learned something new. What's, what's black gaze? An unbelievable genre that I didn't know existed. It had it not come from a suggestion from a gamer who heard something on another game. Or uh, one, of, one of the bigger, more successful uh, lines of music coming uh, from anime. I, I believe the, the band uh, Cowboy Bebop. You see a few things like that here on the channel. But I think it's amazing. I think it's what makes it even more unique is that when we have a taste in something, like back in the 1900s when radio was pretty much the only place you got your, your music, you would find your favorite music style, right, under the genre and listen to it. And whatever the DJ or programming would play, that's how you got fed that. And then you stayed in the confines of the genre that you liked. But like I said earlier in the video, when you're playing video games, you go, oh, I want to play this game, or this looks badass, or this is, oh, this, you know, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, you're, you're being exposed to music that's making you go, hmm? Like the Victrola dog. What? 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 And it expands your experience musically. And I think, uh, though this video doesn't target a any particular other creators that have opposing opinions, I just want to be that guy to say that at where I'm at in my life, what it is that I'm doing now right now with music and, and honoring you know, musicians, composers, arrangers, um, that, that work on video games, uh, it's, it's been an absolutely amazing journey. And I myself, even at my age, in my 60s, am being re-influenced by listening to that broader spectrum of music that I'm learning through video games. Even me. Right now, I've just picked up Hi-Fi Rush. It's that game you got to play with the rhythm, which is super cool. I'm finishing up Portal. I've played Outer Wilds. I've played Minecraft. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready to start a new Minecraft server. Um, so you, you could see I'm all pumped. I'm jazzed. I'm not curmudgeon about, oh, where is the music going and all that and why in this and blaming a specific uh, media for drawing attention away from music where in turn I see that particular media, gaming, as one that has incredibly uh, expanded you know, the musical experience. So anyhow, I don't do flashy edits. It's just me just kind of rambling, you know, a little stream of consciousness here. But I just wanted to lay that out there. And, uh, you know, what are your thoughts on that? How do you feel about that? And of course, you know how I like to end some of my videos? If you're still here, type in, I'm still here. <laughs>